And welcome back on this crazy Thursday morning. What fun was that, JC? All right, 63 degrees. The rain is starting to diminish, but about 9 o'clock, everything should be gone for sure. See you shut up. High temperatures of 82 today. Yes. Shut up. <laughs> and, of course, after today, tomorrow, your high temperature of 86, low of 63. Your coaches are like that. And it says zero to maybe 10% chance of rain for the next seven days. So, Mama Zach, if you're planning another yard sale, you may want to try. Right That's again. a yard sale in the stand I've ever heard of in my life. Should be a flea market. Huh? That's exactly right. Yeah, Zach Flea Market. He didn't get him a little thing on going up here and he got him a he gave him a regular part-time job. Coach Greg up here, ours more. And Indians over here from the East. Y'all got a homecoming today, don't you? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Man. Come on. Who y'all playing? Columbia. Columbia. Russell. <laughs> Oh, no. Boy, it don't get no easier. Place, it don't get no easier for you, does it? Ouch. Uh, we were just with Ross Senator Roger Bedford yesterday, and you know he helped them get Jersey. move up like the college ranks over yeah. that way. Dude. Great article on the Indicator Daily. They two articles, as a matter of fact. One says uh, Jeff Pugh called it. Have you read this yet? No. Well, I'll share a lot of it no. with you. <laughs> Way back in July, Coach Pugh said he would be disappointed if East Limestone football team was not in contention for regional title in October. And here he sits now, undefeated. So, far, so, so why are you having such a good year? You just got superior athletes or did great coaching? First of all, uh, Georgia had a big old balloon last week too, didn't he? It got busted. So Who uh, predicted that? Yeah. yeah, so. South Carolina? Y'all you know, mm -hmm. uh, made fun it, of it? It worries you as a coach when you, when you are winning about what's going to happen next week because you got to keep them from being too overconfident. But uh, we're playing well right now. We played real well last Friday. Um, against a good football team. So we got a little, you know, we needed we needed something to give us a little respect because we've been winning, but, you know, everybody thought we're beating teams that were subpar. So, you know, I told the kids it was going to be a chance for you to show people that you can play with some good football teams. So mm -hmm. I think that I think that, that little victory the other night gave people notice that we may have a good football team. Um, I already knew it. Uh, where do you go from here after homecoming with Columbia? What do uh, you we play Athens uh, next week. And um, then followed by that don't affect you in the region. No, nah, but it, affa it affects our players. Yeah, um, we were there. Yeah. I think the first year y'all played them at your place. Yes, it was, you know how you know what kind of setting that Woo! is. Yeah. It's not going to matter. Cool. It's not going to matter about the records at England. It's not going to matter. I'm telling you. It's That's one of the few games that we ever did. Or the only game I know we ever did with a two camera setup. Oh, of course, yeah. our buddy Keith was with us too back then, and your dad was there. Wow. Right. And Kyle Looney, we all had it going on that way. Let me ask you what before I turn to Coach Leg here. Last year you had a bad season. Right. What advice have you got for your best buddy over here <laughs> on his season so far this year? Well, you, you just got to keep working. You know, last year we knew we didn't have that bad a football team. You know, we lost four games in the last minute and ended up two and eight. So, you know, we knew we didn't have a bad football team last year, but you, know, you got to go out and motivate the kids each week just to try to get better, you know, as, as a player and, you know, and, and as a teammate. And it gets tough sometimes, but most of the time, if the kids see you working hard, they'll work hard with you. If they see you giving up, that's what I told my coaches last year. You got to keep letting these kids know we're doing everything we can to make sure you can win. Well, so sometimes circumstances out of your control. You're right. All right, Clint. You agree with everything he's telling you? Oh, yeah, definitely. Because last year it was opposite when you two guys were up here. Mm -hmm. You were winning them all. Yes, he was losing them all. Yes. So they don't. Like I said, during, regardless, I mean, I, I try to prepare the same every day if we were 0-5 or 5-0, and 0, you know. And he, said, he said it right. Man, I, I want the kids to know that, I, that I'm working hard to get us better. And we, had, we had a pretty good half last week, and the same, you, know, you got to play two halves of football. We, we, we played not real good the second half, and two weeks in a row, we kind of give them away. I guess you could say for three weeks, we give games away. And, Beat ourselves, and we got to quit doing that. But we got to get better. Now, who you got this week? Russell. Russell. That's right. You just said that. There. Yes, sir. Tough. But you never know. But you're but not going but to but, those but, but let me make this clear. I, I told our guys if I still had the video of 2001 when we played there when I was at Lee High School, it's a whole different looking group of kids that they had back then. They had about a hundred players. Back then, they had kids like Aaron Sears that played at Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Colin Sears that played at Auburn, all types of great recruits. And they still got good players, but it ain't the 
It ain't the, the University of Russellville that it like it used, used to be. be and if he beats them, it turns this whole season around. Sure does. Yeah. I mean, it, seriously, it could turn this whole season around. Mm -hmm. and, and they can beat Big them. Big way. <laughs> so, you know, when you, you, you have to stay motivated like Jeff just said. I know it's got to be, and it's got to be difficult to come up here and like you, y'all made it last year. And, and, you, and, you and were, never quit. Some coaches can't do that. Some right. coaches no, did. They start losing, they, they don't they're show not going to show up. No. But I want to say I respect you for doing up, come up here, because you got to face the multitudes of the three or four people not be watching this morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, the might be but, but, but those multitudes need to understand that, that, that our kids are working and our coaches are working, and we know we're not. Man, it, we're 0-3. We're, we're not 0-23. Right. Mm -hmm. We'll all be all right. Let's go back to a great article on your son this morning. That's why I had that question. I'd heard that story before, but not quite the way they put it in there. Brick's the one telling the story to the Decatur Daily this morning. It's a great article, too, so you folks want to go out and get you up. Uh, Decatur Daily, want to read about East Limestone. Your son, yeah. Brick, is having a good season. Yeah. How does it make you feel? He is. Well, to be honest, he deserves it. Uh, he got killed last year. I mean, uh, it was we were in a tough – we had our back against the wall and almost uh, – Seven, seven games out of ten, and uh, he ran for his life. And uh, you know, in life, sometimes things, it, when they seem like they're the worst, they're not, and when they seem like they're the best, they're not. So right now, you know, he's reaping the benefits of hard work last year, because uh, we really worked hard last year on trying to protect, you know, and t teaching him things to do to, to get move around in the pocket to get him some more time, and it's really paying off this year. Um, Let me ask you a couple questions to see how well you know him. <laughs> If you could, this is the question they ask. If you could meet anybody in the world, who would it be besides Jamie Cooper? Yeah. Uh, probably Brett Favre. But hey, very good. That is exactly right. Well, he yeah. does know his yeah. name. Yeah. Brett Favre. Yeah. Well, good. Yeah. You didn't know the answer to that. I didn't know the answer. Let me just say, let me save you 50 cents this morning. Hey, bless you. Don't have to that. <laughs> All right, Clint, what else we need to know about the Ardmore Tigers? Uh, well. Like I said, hopefully. So when's homecoming for you? Uh, on down the line, we play we play Russell, then we go to Clements, then we go to we got several road games. We got like three weeks in the road. Okay. And then we come back to homecoming. That's a while. I didn't feel I don't even, a teacher don't know who we play for homecoming. Uh, I'm trying to think that far ahead. <laughs> but he's got his this weekend. So Y'all got to worry. You know what they got planned for homecoming? Uh, the parade is uh, tonight. It's, it starts at six o'clock. And then they got a pep rally, a community pep rally there at the stadium after the parade. And um, tomorrow, you know, they got the pep rally. Um, all the stuff that really, really distracts from what I've got to do. So this is Dennis's last. He ain't retired yet. He's got nine, well, eight days. Eight, are y'all doing anything special oh, yeah. when at the school? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, he, he, a lot of stuff he don't know about, so I probably shouldn't have said that. But, but there's well, there's going to know something's well, going to he, well, knowing Dennis, he'd be severely, I mean, it might just uh, break his spirit if he didn't get something. So you what's his official it. last day? Uh, I think it's October, well, September 31st, because October 1st. So we need to get him up here next week or the week yeah, after? Yeah, because uh, to be honest, you know, Dennis got a lot of, you know, he, he's got an ego. It's he's pretty big, but uh, he loves kids. I'm telling you, he's done a lot for East Limestone High School. Well, let's see if you talk to him about getting him up here. Okay. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, y'all going down to Tuscaloosa. What do you think about the Mighty Tide this year? Is it looking any better for uh, you? You'll see a different team Saturday. Wait and see. Y'all satisfied with Sims? Well, oh, he's a good quarterback. If people don't think that, they're wrong. Coker just ain't getting the hang of it. You know, think about the pressure that guy had on him from the get-go to perform because he's, he's going against another guy. He's come out there and done way better than I thought he would have. Way better. I mean, he's, he's put the ball on the money 90% of the time. He's, he's excellent getting out of the pocket and running, making plays. And it looks like to me he's got control of the player. I mean, the players uh, respect him on the field. That's huge. Our defense is what better. You think they're going to shut down Amari? Oh, yeah, but you can't do that. All they do is back him off the ball. Without a doubt. You agree with all that? Without a doubt. All I right. won't tell you, though, the, the, the person I'm more impressed with anybody else is going to sound real crazy, but man, our kicking game is pretty good now. That I mean, have you used it a lot. Yeah. No, but, but, but the kid can really right. kick it. Are y'all satisfied with Kiffin, what he's doing, too? Shocking. Mm. Mm. Okay, enough said. Good luck <laughs> this weekend, boys. We'll see y'all next week. Talk to Dennis, get him up here. Right. We'll take a break. When we come back, just a second, Lynn Hart will join us, Dr. Dan White. Y'all hang on. Ducky, ducky, ducky.